Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to install a DrivePro.io motorcycle tracker. Here's the device we're going to fit. It comes ready to go with 12 months service and inside the box you'll find the tracker with its cables ready attached, an alcohol wipe so we can clean the surface we're going to fit it to and of course the instructions. And inside the instructions, you'll find the activation code for adding the device to your account and claiming your 12 month service. The activation code is also on the outside of the box. And of course, if there's any issues activating, you can always contact us via phone or on the online chat. So here we are at the motorcycle. In this case, it's a Mutt Mongrel 125, but fitting to other bikes is very similar. I've already removed one of the side panels to expose the battery and its terminals and the seat bolts as well so we can remove that and give better access for fitting. Generally speaking you want the tracker to be fitted near the top of the bike which will help with GPS reception but you also want to ensure it's well hidden. The tracker is IP65 rated so it's fine to be exposed to moisture. The best location to install will be dependent on the type of bike you have, and you may need to try a few locations before you find somewhere perfect. Make sure you check that it doesn't foul controls or seat clips or any bolts for accessories before you choose your location. In this case, I'm gonna fit the tracker behind the battery and on top of the air filter. So first I'm gonna do a quick test fit. No problems there. It's in and nice and snug on top of the air filter and the uh, wires will easily reach the battery. So next I'll clean the mounting area so we can make sure the unit will stay put once we've stuck it down. You can also add a cable tie around the unit if you prefer. That's looking good. We'll give it a few seconds to let it dry, but it's a nice warm day, so that's gonna happen pretty fast. Now it's time to stick the tracker in place. Simply remove the red film from the rear side of the sticky pad. Position it where we want it and then press it down nice and firmly. The pad is strong enough to attach the unit to most surfaces. I've moved the camera so we've got a good view of the battery and also the tracker that you can see just mounted above. We can also see the two cables coming from the tracker and the two terminals on the battery. It's simply a case of matching the red and black connections up. You'll need a crosshead screwdriver or a spanner for this part, depending on the type of battery that you've got installed. In my case, it's simply just using a crosshead. So there we go, that's the first connection in. I've just backed off the screw, put the spade connector in, and when everything's happy, just do up the screw nice and tight again. And then we repeat the job on the other side. So I'm just going to pull back the protective cover, loosen off the screw, slip in the connector, and there we go. Nice and neat and installed. Last job is just to tuck the wires in nice and neat and put the strap back on the battery once everything's happy. And there we have it. The unit is installed. You can put the rest of the bike back together and we can get on to activating the unit on the website.
I'm back inside now in front of my PC. You can go through this process on your phone or a computer or even a tablet. All you need to do is simply go to the drivepro.io website and if you have an account make sure you've logged in. If you are a new user simply click the activate device menu option and you can set up the tracker and create an account in one simple step. If you've already logged into your account you can still go to the activate device menu option but you won't need to enter any details. Next you need to enter your details and the tracker activation code from the installation instruction sheet that came in the box. Then click activate. If you are a new user you'll receive an email at this point that will allow you to finish the activation of your account and set your password. Either way you will be logged in. In this case I was using my existing account so I'm taken directly to the page for the tracker. As we can see there's already data coming from the tracker and we can see the location and the voltage of the device. I've already created a vehicle for this tracker and I've now assigned the tracker to the vehicle. And there we go. The account is active, the vehicle is seen on the map and any future driving will be recorded in the usual way. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget if you have any issues you can contact us via email or online chat.